Welcome to Transport Vlog. My name is Paul and I'm peering through a gap in the fence from Prince Alfred Park where I can view the tracks approaching Sydney's Central Station. This train is the Indian Pacific fronted by an NR class loco in Indian Pacific livery and a G class loco. This was filmed on Wednesday the 4th of May and it's now 4.25pm. The Indian Pacific was due to depart at 3pm so it's running quite late. It's going to start moving now. The first carriage is a power and guards van and next to it is a crew sleeping car. The next few carriages are gold service sleeping cars but this one here is a lounge car. It looks like this V-set is trying to get in front of the Indian Pacific. Will it succeed? The India Pacific is now coming back into view on the left and that sneaky V-set succeeded in stopping this iconic train. As you can see it's building up to the evening peak so the Indian Pacific could be in for a slow run through the Sydney suburbs but with the champagne flowing I don't think anyone on board will mind. The Indian Pacific train runs once a week between Sydney and Perth. It departs on a Wednesday afternoon and arrives in Perth on the following Saturday afternoon so that's three nights on board. A typical Indian Pacific train consists of around 30 carriages. It's so long that it occupies two of the terminating platforms at Sydney's central station. Half of the train leaves first and then reverses to attach to the rest of the train. All these carriages are sleeping cars for gold service. Most have twin berth cabins with seats that convert to bunk beds and a bathroom with shower. There are some single cabins too for solo travellers. Watch closely as the Indian Pacific gradually starts moving again. The Indian Pacific carriages were built by Commonwealth Engineering in Granville between 1966 and 1975. Notice the aircon grills at the ends of each car. 
The autumnal sunset creates a very picturesque backdrop. This carriage, with the grills in the middle, is a restaurant car. Notice the special loading door for food and beverages. These three carriages are sleeper cars for platinum service. They have a full double bed, picture windows, full size ensuite bathroom and Bollinger champagne. This next carriage is another lounge car. And now another restaurant car with the special door and the centre grills. The next five carriages are further gold service sleepers. There is now a gold superior option which has a three quarter double bed rather than twin bunk beds. Now coming into view is the baggage car. There is one of these per train. These next two carriages are for the crew sleeping cars. And finally, another power and guards van. These have three alternators to provide electrical power to the train. And as the back of the Indian Pacific comes into view once more, it's time to say goodbye to this very special train. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.